Action. Hello. Like a lot of people, I've done some really daft things to raise money for comic relief. For example, in 1998, I got sponsored to appear in public or in a sarong. It was tough, but worth it. And of course, in 2003, I was sponsored to go outside with my hair in braids. Embarrassing. Then, in 2010, I raised over 600 pounds, being sponsored to share a bath with James Corden. But this red nose day, I've decided to keep it simple. I'm going to stay at home, not do anything weird, and watch the show and just donate. And you can do all that too. Tonight, we're going to ask you to call, go online, or text the word yes, and then send it, like Beckham. When you do that, you will help change someone's life in a second. Thank you. Cut. Thanks, guys. Thank you. David! David! James, I'm coming. David, come on, the bath's getting cold. I don't want to miss comic relief. Bags not the tapping. I don't care where you sit, just remember you're doing my nails. My brother took his own life. No note, no letter, no goodbye. You know, he was a young man, 44. It's sometimes difficult for me to talk about it because I don't feel like I was a good friend at the time. He was the best man at my wedding. I'm the godfather to his son. He had gone from living in a nice little two-bedroom flat to just living in a bed set, working in a job he didn't like. He started drinking more. I think internally he was very lonely. He was just spiralling further and further into depression. In January 2017, he decided to walk down to the beach. He just wanted to feel numb. He had his phone with him listening to music and um, a podcast came on of Professor Green who uh, lost his father to suicide. A documentary came on. It made me think of my son and him not having me in his life. And so I sat down on the beach and I cried and the number appeared for calm. So I rung them and they saved my life. I need a minute, I need a minute. Okay. It was that taboo that I, I really don't feel very good. I'm, I'm feeling bad about myself. And when someone else says, okay, it's fine to feel like that, you kind of go, wow. What was I so worried about? I can only imagine 16 years ago if my brother would have had somewhere to go, somebody to talk to, somebody to share his feelings. I truly believe in my heart today he would still be here.